you guys hear that the rain oh my gosh it just started pouring like i just brought wes in because he was just laying out there and i saw this big black cloud on the horizon but then uh all of a sudden the rain just went crazy and it is downpouring right now i gotta go check my windows real quick i'll be right back give me a second Good. Honestly, I love a good rainstorm. Lorraine? <laughs> Who's Lorraine? Um. Sorry, give me one second. Texting break. Yeah, Becky, how did it go? That was opening night, right? Tonight and tomorrow. Dang, that's awesome. Glad that it went well. Sorry, 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 sorry. All right, I think we're good. Um, I let's do some strands. Man, the rain just stopped. It just like was going hard. And there's no more rain anymore. That was wild. Alright, uh strand stay. You you can say that again. Petition. <gasps> no way! I was thinking repeat. <laughs> pom pom. Pom pom. Oh, things that repeat. Okay. Tut tut. Murmur? Go, go. Mama. This one's easy. Coco. <clears throat> wow. <laughs> couscous? How do you spell couscous? Couscous. Oh, tutu, not tut tut. Can can. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can can. Easy. Oh, that was so simple. Easiest one we've ever done for strands. It's a Friday, too. How dare they? <clears throat> um, <clears throat> excuse me. Nice. How was your lunch? Letterboxed. 
Toodles, what's up? Just in time for Letterboxd. Got to solve in six, but really in two. Um, quip, hex quip. <laughs> what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? I'm thinking like, I was thinking Axiom. But you can't do Axiom for numerous different reasons. Sexy. It's a sexy word. Gotta, there's got to be um, a really good first word. It's got to have X in it. And then A, like Aqua. Aqua. Loquacious. Aqui. Aquair. Squape with a P, like when you you scrape your knee. <laughs> Squape. <laughs> That's so cute. I scraped my knee. Almost ubiquitous. Ah, oh, so close. That'd have been great. You know, Nemo's just plotting right now. Uh, uh. Squape. I had a bad squape. Squeeze? Nope. This is hard. Yeast. Ah. Squib? Imagine. <laughs> Let's go. I love that. Squib into What's growth? Gross with yeast. Squib is a word. I wonder what actually it actually means. I have Google on my fingertips and I'm asking that question. Cool, that was lightning right there. Or thunder. An explosive, a small fire. Wow. That's pretty crazy. Bexy. That's a cute name. <laughs> um, all right, B. Let's go simple. Let's just do simple stuff. Boy into. Ooh, boxes. Nice. Boxes into. Sap into. Sap's for one. Ah, uh, sapphire. Sophistry. Physique, I didn't even see that. Woo, sap into physique. There you go. 
Physique is definitely the word that we, we should should have started with. We did that in four, but hold on. Let's do this. Physique. Boxer? No, physique into, it's gotta be something into physique, right? Oh, boxy, rather than Bexy. Physiques, hey, physiques into Saxobe. I don't know. We already did this one. Physique into sat box. Not a word. Ah, oh. wait a minute. Is it something into physiques? <sighs> oh well, we did it. We were good. We're good on that. Let's do connections. I know your father. Soapbox. That's probably it. That was probably it. Uber Ultra. Hyper and super augmentative prefixes clean, trim, tidy, neat. Trim, tidy, neat, and clean. It's so easy today. Oh, uh, apparently, South um, Cape Town was just issued a uh, tsunami warning? Anybody? Cecilia, are you here? Are you all right? Apparently there's a gr he there's like huge swells. There was like an offshore earthquake in like the middle of nowhere. Snowball, it balloons, it dominoes, and it swells. <gasps> no. Snowball, balloon, domino, mushroom, yeah. Ah, <gasps> no, hold on, wait. You sent Cecilia a slightly hysterical message. Balloon, mushroom, snowball, balloon. Wait, balloon? Mushroom, snowball, marble? She was watching Desperate Housewives. <laughs> I'm glad that she is okay watching Desperate Housewives. Is she, uh, is she, wow, that was a terrible joke. <laughs> is it like crazy going on right now? Like, is everything all right? Did she say nothing's changed, really? She didn't even mention it. <laughs> That's great. Oh, what are you doing? You just got a little playful jolt of energy, huh? Oh, no. Oh, no. Gotta get it. Oh, good boy. You're such a stinker. There was a storm a few days ago. Oh, nice. Um, what is this? Wait, wait, wait. Stick, jack, marble, domino. Nice, that's it. Domino, marble, jack, stick. And it was snowball, swell. Become larger.
Nice. All right, uh, Wordle. How about stick? Ow. That's good. All right, we got Becky's approval. Uh, it's not that great, but you know, we did what we did. Did what we could do. Uh. Bring, I like that. No, oh, that sounds too, too terrible. Wes, <laughs> you're so silly when you get in these moods. You're so silly when you get in these moods. Yeah. Um. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. I literally just thought of that. I'm sick of looking at that guy's face. Um. Wine. Wine. Oh, wow, Becky, that was so close to being so impressive. Wind? Whiny? Whiny? Is it whiny? Yeah, I'm going with whiny. Yeah, that was dumb. But hey, we got it. Oh boy, bud. Wes always plays the game that I need him to not play at, which is Spelling Bee, because I need to type fast when you guys throw out words. Don't whine about it. <laughs> game! Got the first word, suckers. Oh. Dang. Nagged. Nudge. Adash. Dimash. Manga. Oh no, I'm falling behind with one finger. Manga or one hand. Dung. Mugged. Ow, Wes. Mange. This is a pangram, right? And damaged. Regular damaged. <laughs> what I I think I missed one. Did I miss one? Manga, mange, dung, undamaged, gamed. Oh, Wes. Gamed. Ganged. Managed. Unmanaged. Gang already found. Mugged, I think we already found. Oh, Wes, you are so tough. Agenda. Agendum. Nice, that's a pangram. Unmanaged, I think we have unmanaged, no. Yeah, make sure you check the uh, answers so you guys don't type out long words for no reason. Eggs. Ow, Wes. Hey, you're so crazy. Hey, give me that. Egged. Edged. <laughs> Love a good edging. It sounded bad. Love a good edged. Hey, Wes. Gum, yeah, if you guys are watching this on your phone, I don't know how that how you can even look at them. They're so small. Come here. Get your toy. Come here. I'll still play tug of war with you. Gummed, ungummed. Magnum? What is that? Magnum. Wow. The ice cream. Engaged. Gunman. Nice. Gunman. Gun men. Have manga. Got manga. 
on guns. I don't know. Yes, you're crazy. You're so crazy. Come here. Come here. There you go. All gunned out. Wait, gauge. That's a good one. Gauge. We're almost there. Gunned. I think we have gunned now. No, we don't. How close are we? Oh, yeah. Easy. Aged. Lana, what's up? Gagged. Wow. He is coming up with all sorts of inappropriate ones. <laughs> mugged. We have mugged. Oh, we've nudged. Naked? Like you're naked? You're naked? Gun mug a thing? <laughs> like an armed mugging? I think they would just call that an armed mugging, no? Um... You are so ferocious, Wes. Get it. Get it. All right, it's a Friday. Tough one. Let's just knock this out. No surprise there. No angels. <laughs> Wes, you're so silly. Get over here. Oh, you're so strong. You're so strong, buddy. Uh, no angels. Promise of a future return. I'll be back, baby. Lose steam. Partner who's deep undercover. Tire. Like that. Huff. Puff. All star group. A team? I don't think so. Maybe. Take a dim view of. Oh, you're back for more, huh? You're back for more. Take a dim view of Smash Mouth. Disapprove for take a dim view of? Maybe. It looks too short. Yeah. Makeup of some sleeves. Informally tats. Makeup of some sleeves. Smash Mouth, remember the, what was that big song? All Star by Smash Mouth, yeah, yeah. Cause that was the All Star. Might be Smash Mouth for that. <laughs> oh, Wes, you're gonna break my hand. It was literally called All Star, right? Lace. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I just, it takes a long time for jokes to get into my head or for me to understand them. Bit of detrius from a Thanksgiving meal. <laughs> you are so tough. Expire. Spoil? Irene and Frederick Joliot blank co-winners of the 1935 Nobel Prize in chemistry. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Wait, really? Are they relatives? Oh, you're back for more. Oh, you're back for more. 
<laughs> yeah. Okay, it's a combo of things. I know you're I know you're uh British sense of humor is too complicated for mine, so every time you say something I'm I'm assuming it's a joke, but I just don't get it half the time. Irene Curie was the daughter of Marie Curie. No way, that's crazy. Clearing. Room for creativity. So much room for activities. Letters in an empty slot. <laughs> what? Um, field you can feel. Maybe. Um, Wyoming city, river, or mountain range. Wyoming city, river, or mountain range. I've been there, so I should know this. Wyoming. <laughs> what? You pick the worst times to do this. <laughs> yeah, you gotta have that cred with the last name. Um, Gardner? Nope. NFL team that is sold out. I don't know what's what this one would be. The Cowboys? Kind of like America's team, but they've been crap for some years in between 1970 and right now. I wouldn't be surprised. 40 across alternatively, informally. I kind of think that might be the Packers. Buff relative. <laughs> you alright? Go take a breather. Go lay in the bed. <laughs> Considering retirement. Block with a horn. Locale of the angle point of Nevada's western border. Sturdy fabric. Denim? You're still back for more. I thought you were all done. You gotta go rip the cotton out of that, Wes. Yeah, it is always denim. Or Demon. Prince example. This is the tough puzzle. Denigrate. Handheld device discontinued in 2000. Blackberry? Um. Palm Pilot? Wow. Remember those things? A mass. All who wrote Puppy Love. Ouch. Just keep doing what you're doing. Blank Hawaii. NCIS? Paul Anka? It's a cool name. Vidalia for one. Goes down. Sinks, buttery side dish that's often grilled. I don't know. The so called roof of the world. I thought you were down for the count. You're up more. You want to play? You're up more. Huh? I got it. The so-called roof of the world? Give a greeting in slang. Look for. Rentals for some weddings. Like tuxes? I feel like that would be tuxes. An A-team and lace are wrong. 
Squirt. Wow. Squirt. <laughs> Tibet? Yeah, that makes sense. Like A-team and Lace are wrong. I think it's Tats. Um, I think this is Tuxes. Squirt. <laughs> Seafood delicacy. Um, Seafood delicacy. Pen. Nineteen across elite. Yeah, probably. But then what is this one? What is the rental? I don't know. All star group. I don't know. All star groups called elite. Maybe. Go down and then squirt. <laughs> Suits? Yeah, I guess. Does that make sense? Seafood delicacy. And save on rent, say. Gotcha. Yeah, more rare than tuxes. It's true. Roomy? Roomies? I kind of like that. Uh, save on rent, say. Feeling of tightness. <laughs> this is a... Whew. Yeah, Roomies doesn't quite fit. Close, though. Jason of TV's shrinking. Ache? Is that tightness? Misidentification in the DC universe. <laughs> Good pun. Jason Seagal, maybe. And spoils wrong. Let's go with that. Wow, look at that spelling. Oh, this is the Andor track from Star Wars. It's so good. This identification in the DC universe. Accompaniment for roast lamb. Sigel? Huh? EL? I'm trying to f oh, S E G E L Seagull. Um, accompaniment for roast lamb, mint jelly. We might call it jelly. I don't know. Jelly sounds a little bit more American, like we would call it jelly than sauce. I know, that is weird. Maybe, I don't know though. Because I, I don't really have roast lamb. Reason for a fair alert. First name in late night. Leto? Why is that the first? Oh, no, no, no. It's, who's a first name? Steven Conan. Seth, yeah. Thank you. 
jokester. I don't know, like an imp. Biblical unit. A cubit device that converts rotary motion into linear motion. Go down. Ebb. Whoa. Forty across alternative informally. Ritual perform to break a spell. Halt. Who goes there? European automaker uh, Audi. Rain dance. Yeah, something dance. Maybe rain dance? Is rain a spell? Toiletry holder and a carry on? Traditional service. Something mass? Hot topic in criminology. Take in arson. <laughs> That's a great one. <laughs> oh, I just heard about this story. I'll tell you guys after we uh, do some of this. Some person on TikTok was telling this story and it was horrifying. It was crazy and it involved arson. Audi or Fiat, maybe. Yeah, I like that handle. Blank Kirk Christensen, founder of the Lego company. Brand name for the steroid, Momatazone. Piercing site, lip. Chinese restaurant freebie, fortune. Nip, it could be nip. <laughs> Anybody have any nip piercings? Center. I was about to read this as centaur. Center. Mid something? Midst? I like that. It's unclear. Has a Prince Albert? Is that what it's called? A nip piercing is a Prince Albert? Why is that called a Prince Albert? Albert. Anybody know what movie that's from? I actually don't know what movie that's from, but I know what it's from. Albert. I think it's from Jungle Book, I want to say. When he's learning language. Country whose name is part of the NATO phonetic alphabet. The tip is called a Prince Albert. Oh! I've heard Lenny Kravitz is just packing. Ow, why would anybody want a Prince Albert? Oh. Ooh, I got the chills right there. Country whose name is part of the, part of the NATO phonetic alphabet. Like Spain, India? Really? That's cool. Athletes who wear mawashi. Nemo, do you watch or uh, do you watch cricket? I just saw this dude bowl. He's like not a new person, but he's this. It's like been going down as like the greatest bowl. He just puts crazy spin on it. He throws it over, and he knocks on the wicket every time just on spin. It was crazy. It was nuts to watch. Sumos makes sense. Done for the day. Say sixty-three across sets. Hold on. Um, 
goes down. Yeah, like sunsets. Makes sense. Takes a dim view of his pans. Sure. Her. Wait, Becky, why do you know the... Why do you know the NATO phonetic alphabet? Low. Radio transmissions? Are you 60 years old? Are you turning the dial on your radio? Ah, I gotta find it. It popped up on my, on my, on my TikTok. I'm gonna look for it right now. I don't know if it was a pro team. Cricket. Oof. I gotta find it. Oh, that might actually be in that guy. Hold on, this is definitely it. This is definitely the guy that was talking about it. But now I just gotta find it. I'll find it later and post it in the Discord. Uh, the, the, what is lavish display as of color? Sorry. People still communicate <laughs> via radio. Uh, I don't know about that. I mean, yeah, you're right, but I don't know about that. Uh, the Islands of Hawaii, effectively. Abbreviation. Volcano? The OL? Vidalia? Sweet Onion? Wow, sure. Sure. Um, just keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, the Indian, yeah, yeah, agreed. Indian Cricket League is the only good one I've heard. Heard the same thing. What is buttery side dish that's often grilled? What's up, Laura? Oh, don't mind me. I think Laura's just coming in saying don't mind me as she's just coming in. Don't mind me. There's no phone reception at sea. <laughs> Becky, <laughs> I love that you're still on this. You will, you will drill in my mind the NATO phonetic alphabet or whatever. Denigrate. Amass. Buttery side dish. Often grilled. <laughs> uh, brand name for the steroid. By a show of um, hands, who knows the NATO phonetic alphabet? Or who doesn't know the NATO phonetic alphabet? Thank you, Nandel. And she's European too, so where's the excuse in, in that? Lavish display. Thank you. Another person doesn't know. <laughs> I think Becky's the only one that does know. Yes. Good, good, good. More people on my on my side. Riot. Yeah, yeah. A lavish display as of color. Riot? Yeah, Nima knows everything, so. No surprise there. No angels. Riot of color? I've never heard that before. 57 across, run up. 
Nice. That makes sense. Done for the day. Say. Spent. I'm so spent. Denigrate. It's unclear. Don't know. Buttery side dish that's often grilled. I still don't know. I don't know. Texas toast. You Texans. What is Chinese restaurant freebie? Chai tea, pot tea. Um, I just had a barley tea and it was delicious. Hot tea? Hot tea makes sense. <laughs> uh, Prince. Example. Locale of the Angle Point on Nevada's western border. Block with a horn. Prince is a son. I was thinking of the artist Prince. That makes sense though. Tahoe. That makes sense. Considering retirement. Definitely not Buffalo. Uh, it, Broncos is the only thing that I could think of, but I don't think there's a chance that they've sold out every home game. I feel like they didn't have anybody in their stadium this year. And this out makes sense for this one being sauce. Nice, Becky. Sorry. Uh, I say we'll never doubt you again, but we will. Field, you can feel, maybe. Considering retirement. Ooh, little Mandalorian. Mm -mm -mm. It's true. We wouldn't say mint sauce. We would say mint jelly. Sleepy. Oh yeah. Nice. You guys are crushing right now. What is sauce and jelly? Yeah, that's a great question. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that. But there's certain things like it's the prior word. Like we would say pasta sauce. If you're really Italian, you say pasta gravy. But we would like it wouldn't be mint sauce. Uh, like a mint sauce goes on something else. Like a mint jelly would go on <laughs> a rack of lamb. Yeah, that's true. Take in vet Nasonex, really? Wow. Buff and tan. Take in. Eat. Nice, Nandala. Nice. Block with a horn. Fiat. What was this one again? Nandala, you were close to this one. Block 
Cock with a horn is devil? Make that one make sense. I don't think that's right. Wyoming city, river, or mountain range? I think it's in Wyoming. Anybody know a city in Wyoming? Room for creativity. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Laramie. Sure, I've never heard that city before in my life, but... Ooh, yeah, it's definitely Anvil. Nice doodles. Alpha? It is Rain... Uh, rain Dance. Rain Dance. Alpha, it's alpha. Latin mass, nice. Art lab. Weird, it's weird. It's really weird. Bit of detri detritus from a Thanksgiving meal. Cob. Is dextritus, Detri detritus, pen, detritus, <laughs> sure, whatever, author, yeah, nice. Or I'm glad that you're you're back. I feel like we haven't seen you in a while. Save on rent, say. Cohabit. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm just messing with you. Uh, no surprise there. Promise of a future return. I think cohabit is wrong. Unless ache is wrong, I think ache is wrong. Hmm? Partner who's deep undercover. Another word for cramp. Promise of a, of a future return. Give a greeting in slang. Look for. Squirt. Holla? Oh my gosh, what are we in the 90s? <laughs> Look for. No surprise there. <clears throat> Squirt. Seafood delicacy. Feeling of tightness. Misidentification in the DC universe. Reason for a fair alert. Yeah, row maybe? Jokester. Like an imp? I don't know. An imp's not really a jokester though. This smacks. <laughs> Can you imagine if it was? That'd be great, actually. Easy. Is 
Ugh, I don't like caviar. One clue was... No surprise there. This smacks. That tracks. Yeah, that makes sense. This tracks? This tracks or that tracks? I feel like it'd be that tracks. Hold on. I didn't even see that until you said that. Promise. Tense. Nice. Now we're making some headway. I owe you. I owe you one. Blanket thug. That's ridiculous. Oh wait, tyke? No. Dudley's a little tyke, a little squirt. Blanket hog, sorry. Not. Take a dim view of. Expire. Clearing. Field you could feel, maybe. Hula? <laughs> I don't know. Laid. Hate watch? Never heard that, but maybe. Jokester? Reason for a fair alert. Okay, relax. Laps? Wow. Aura? puzzle some of those clues were tough some of those clues were a little weird I actually didn't mind that puzzle so much but it was just it was like a little off oh no I cinema sins is hate watch yeah the new editor Joe Fagliano what's his name he when did he stop uh, editing them because, yeah, they've been a little weird since this new guy came in. The last few weeks have been a little, a little iffy. Joel, you got to get your game up. Come on. But we're doing great. We're doing great, guys. We're doing great. Shorts had a stroke? No. He's still alive, though, right? Did he just, how old is he? Little shorts, he has to be pretty old. <gasps> Looking forward to being back with a new puzzle soon. 71, wow. Serves as a puzzle master for NPR, wow. I 
like the first question is will shorts married all these crossword nerds have massive crush on will shorts imagine this was your job to edit crossword puzzles every day <laughs> Cecilia's alive all right good how do you know did she finally get back to you Is something happening that I don't know about? Yes. Ooh, okay, guys, I heard this. I, I saw this TikTok. This is December. I guess there's none. I saw on TikTok all sorts of uh, people were talking about this massive wave that was kind of close to the Antarctic. Um, I saw this. Uh, okay, I saw this TikTok. It's about this relationship, and uh, it was this dude, and he went out on a date. I think her name was Liz, and they like you know were dating and you know very just casually dating. Um, and, uh, the guy was a mechanic and so someone just kind of randomly came into a shop and he was like, oh wow, she's really pretty. So nothing happened. He fixed her car and they went their separate ways, obviously, because, uh, it's just normal work. And then all of a sudden he was on like plenty of fish or something like that. And he, uh, <clears throat> matched with someone and it was the same lady who he fixed the car. So they're like, oh, let's go on a date. So they went out on a date. And while he was still, like, you know, dating this other girl, but it was, like, really casual. He's not thinking anything ill of it. You know, you just date a bunch of people. So he goes on another this date with this girl that he fixed his car, uh, fixed her car, and they go on a date, and it's going great. And then all of a sudden, um, uh, they're, like, you know, on a date. I think they're watching a movie or they're, you know, cooking dinner or something like that at his place. And his first dating girl, Liz, walks into the apartment and sees that he's with another girl. And she doesn't freak out or anything in the moment. But she, and then she just is like, oh, okay. Like, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to intrude or interrupt. And I'm sorry about that. About a week later, the second girl that he's dating, I forgot her name. Let's say her name's like Cindy or something like that. The second girl, Cindy, starts sending him death threats and starts sending 100 messages a, like a day. And starts sending him all sorts of crazy stuff from like 20 different phone numbers. Just nuts. Not only does she do that, she starts harassing Liz on all this sorts of crazy weird stuff. This happens for a few months before both of them get the police involved. Yeah, she walks into the apartment. She had keys. I got to find this story on TikTok again. It was wild. Um, I know this uh, This is the first, I'm not on that crazy of a, this is the first story that popped up for that, I guess, because I was researching <laughs> restraining orders uh, the other day. Um, so I guess this popped up on my TikTok feed. Tar targeted ads, they're working to scare me. But anyway, so the first girl that he's dating starts sending him death threats, or uh, Cindy starts sending him death threats and starts sending Liz, the first girl that he was dating, death threats too. So they all like back off and they're like, okay. Uh, this we need to like figure something out. They get the police involved because the police are like she will for sure murder someone. She is getting to the point where she's threatening to kill them every single day. It's getting it's getting terrible. Um, so they decide to move and they both move to places that the other person doesn't know. They like actually get up their lives and they move, which is crazy. Um, but these the the Cindy and the the guy haven't seen each other in months because they're like you know being very careful. So they haven't seen each other in months. Um, they're not really talking too much. And then. Uh, about a year later, um, the police, when the police are getting involved, they're trying to figure this out. They're like, something really strange has gone on. And all of a sudden, they track the IP address back to um, one of the cops who was on the, the case because they just couldn't find Cindy. They just didn't know where she was. So they track her IP address back to like one of the cops who was working on the case who didn't know what the heck was going on. And it was Liz the entire time. Liz was sending messages on behalf of Cindy. She had already murdered Cindy. She burned her to death. 
And then she was threatening this other guy, uh, be all because she walked in on them uh, on a date. It was the most insane. It was like a movie. It was like Gone Girl kind of weird, crazy levels of... It was terrifying. And then I'm... It was... Guys, it was what? It was wild. I got to find the story again because it was absolutely crazy. If I do, I'll post it on uh, Discord. Let's do the Michelle Hadley episode on, on uh, case file. It was real too. Yeah, it was real. I'm going to look it up. Crazy ex-girlfriend. It's like a show, I think, at HBO. Liz Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. Murders. Boyfriends. New girlfriends. This is my Google history. I gotta stop. This is it. This is the one, guys. This is the freaking craziest story I've seen in years. Lover, stalker, killer. Dave Krupa and Liz Gallier. She's dead. She killed her. I know. After I see stories like that, I'm like, no, no way. No way. I'm not dealt with this twice before in my life. I'm not doing this. Yeah, for real. Yeah, poor her. Just going on a date with a guy and all of a sudden this crazy woman. I know. It'll be on Deadly Woman or some other. Yeah, yeah definitely be on some show. I think they actually are making something, a movie, or they've already made something out of it. Man, this stuff, this stuff terrifies me. Like this, she was convicted to be the stalker at first. But really, it was freaking Liz. It was her the whole time. Look us up, guys. It's, it's wild, wild story. Yes, I got all my news from TikTok too, by the way. Yeah, meanwhile, I'm here uh, looking up information on restraining orders, and now it's, I'm getting all sorts of weird TikTok videos about that. So it's, it's either dogs or it's going to be crazy stuff like that. I know, I know. <laughs> I was just sucked into that story on TikTok. It was someone who's a good storyteller too, so... I was just, I was literally right before I streamed, I was strolling and eating lunch, and then all of a sudden that popped up, and it was terrifying. I know, seriously. Dating is a, it's a scary world out there. Um, all right, guys. Well, on that note, <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> I can't right now. I got to go back to work. It would be lovely if I could, but I got to go. Guys, it was a pleasure. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We got to do the uh, last chapter of uh, Deathly Hallows. Or no, last chapter of Deathly Hallows. Well, we do, but last chapter of Philosopher's Stone for our book club i'll show that or i'll uh, check when we can do that maybe tomorrow or let me do that right now before i get off stream next newt saturday at what can i do tomorrow two Boom. Not sure yet. Next, uh, ooh, those podcasts. I, I, uh, listened to Serial and I was like terrified by that. So I couldn't do some of those more serious ones. That stuff is freaking me out now. Or maybe Monday. 
Monday at Um, all right, boom. Happy <laughs> your news, OJ is dead. Yeah, it's very happy. Good. Good, good, good. That was all the gossip at the dog park today. Um, all right, guys, I gotta, I gotta run. Oh, <laughs> Cecilia, I'm looking at your dog right now. On Crookshanks in the Crookshanks den. Ah, <sighs> all right, suckers. Have a good one. I'll see you guys later. Bye.